went to Mexico. I never came back. Who are the military? They are the most violent cartel in Mexico. If you go after them, you won't come back. I gotta get her home. Andas perdido, viejito. ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué es de ti esta? What up, folks? Mystery here. We just watched Rambo, The Last Blood. Rambo Last Blood is the fifth and last film in the Rambo series that previously consisted of four films between 1982 and 2008. The first film, titled simply First Blood, is about John Rambo, played by Sylvester Stallone, a Vietnam War vet who comes home to find that his friends are long gone. He has no one left. He meets a sheriff at a local town who gives him a hard time because they don't like drifters. What's a simple ride to his destination ends up becoming he wants him out of the town entirely. So now, what starts as a misunderstanding turns into a feud where he gets arrested, Rambo escapes, and now he is at war with a whole town as the police force tries to hunt him down. This is the one Rambo film where he doesn't kill anyone, instead using traps and diversions. It's a film that is not about the action. It's about the character of John Rambo. It's about who he is as a person and not about how much action you can show on screen. Plus, in one of Sylvester Stallone's best scenes, it shows Rambo at his most vulnerable, showing us how hard it is to return from a war. Don't end it like this. Back there, I can fly a gunship. I can drive a tank. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold a job. Fucking guys! Ah! It is the best of the series by far. A huge recommendation. The second film, Rambo First Blood Part 2, involves Rambo in prison. He is being asked by his only friend, Colonel Truckman, asking him to return to the one place he'd fought he'd never go back to. Vietnam, to rescue a group of people who are held hostage there. But when the head of the operation deliberately leaves him there for dead, Rambo wants out. The film shows more of who he is in combat. It shows who Rambo is as an action star. It delivers great action, but also character development and good writing. Overall, this is a good sequel. Rambo 3 is the weakest out of all of them, but not a bad movie. Rambo is being asked to rescue Colonel Trutman, who is held hostage in Afghanistan during a mission that he himself did not want to go to. While the story isn't that great, the action is still good, but despite its flaws in the story and writing, it's a watchable movie nonetheless. You don't really learn anything new about Rambo, but it still delivers. It still delivers even if it's not that great. The fourth film, simply titled Rambo follows him in a foreign land all alone, hiding from the rest of society. When asked by Christian missionaries for transportation to Soma, he says no, but eventually agrees to take him anyway, but he can only take him so far. However, when they are captured, Rambo goes out to rescue them, with the help of some mercenaries. The film is much darker in tone than the other movies. The action scenes are much more intense and a lot more bloody. However, on that note, the story is better and it's a more entertaining film, even if it is not for everyone. So I had to watch all 1, 2, 3, and 4 before I watched the 4th, 5th film. I had to binge watch all 4 and it was good. But this one movie is so brutal, you're gonna like, what the hell is going on? If this movie was more in tune with the 4th and 3rd one, uh, let me explain. Uh, so John Rambo has been living in this farmhouse for the past 11 years. And do, if any of you have seen the fourth one, you may remember that he went home to his farmhouse in Arizona. That's the farmhouse he's in the fifth film right now. It's the same know. It's the same exact one. He lives in his farmhouse with his aunt and her granddaughter, Gabriel. The granddaughter is like a daughter to Rambo. As you probably are aware from the other movies, He's pretty much a loner. Whenever he finds someone he can connect to, yes. they all either they get killed, taken away. He never or gets both. a chance to stay he, with them much longer than he used to, ever. He never gets the opportunity to be loved, which is which always makes his story very sad. And this one, this Wasn't, one's even sadder for some. This is what's actually it's more the darker. saddest of all these movies. I actually enjoyed how they did it though. The acting was phenomenal. The story was good. Said, said, Lester Stallone as Rambo, he knows what he's doing. 
He's brooding. Rambo is suffering from PTSD, and his granddaughter is the only thing that matters in his life right now. She gets this call about her dad, and she wants to know about why her dad abandoned her, and, and Rambo tells her, no, don't go there, because where he's from, people there don't change. They, they, they're basically violent and nothing else. He has this dark mindset. And she does it anyway. She goes to Mexico, finds her dad, and even though he's excited to see her, she asks the question, why did you abandon me? But the response he gives is so rude and disrespectful that un unfortunately it sets the tone for the rest of the movie. She goes to her friend crying upset and she wants to go home. But her friend basically tells her to unwind and relax. She physically stopped her not going home. If she went home, she definitely would have escaped. They go to a club, and then this random guy who's the we who ends up being the leader of a Mexican cartel drugs her, and then she disappears. The, uh, and uh, the grandma finds out that she did not return the past few days, and so... He goes out to Mexico to try and find her. And Bemmer begins this investigation as to where she is and why she disappeared. And he ends up finding this Mexican cartel that's involved. Two brothers. These two brothers. The two brothers run a cartel that are involved in prostitution rings, are violent, and... It's really, really dark stuff. And now he seeks vengeance on those responsible for taking the only thing in his life that matters, the granddaughter. But he goes to the, the girl's house and she asks, uh, Rambo threatens to ask, where is the girl? Then he sees a bracelet that uh, the, uh, the niece had and she and the Rambo said, you sold her out. Then Rambo trying to investigate where the person is, finds her nieces. In all the movies, if you haven't... He never gets a break. I just... No. But I just feel really sad for Rambo in this movie in general. I'm not going to say too much about this film. I feel kind of bad for him in this film. It just makes me feel Rambo is a perfect character. Thank God I've seen all the movies where I've seen this. But to get, understand his feelings and everything. In my opinion, Rambo deserves to have peace. But mostly... Most importantly, he needed love. He did have it, but I'm not going to say any more. But like I said, I just enjoyed it a lot. I'm going to give this to me in my perspective. This movie gets, deserves a 9 for me out of 10. I enjoyed it. I liked it. You know, if they're going to make a 6th one, go right ahead. I don't mind. I, I doubt, highly doubt they're going to make a Rambo 6 because it's the final chapter of Rambo. It yeah, supposedly, because supposedly his arc is over. Although there are things I have to say. Um, unfortunately, this movie is way too dark. In the fourth movie, that movie was probably the darkest of the movies that, yes, but at that one... point. It was darker because you're dealing with a much more hostile environment. You're dealing with a situation where it's extremely risky even to you set foot to, in a place. You need to think for a second why they want to make this one more darker than the fourth one. You need to think about why they did that. They did it because to make the story... Much more. This is the final chapter, dude. The movie is darker in terms of the tone of a movie and how serious it takes it. By focusing on the one thing that matters to him, taken away from him, it becomes a very personal story for not just Rambo, but also you, the viewer. Remember he sits in a chair, right? Rob mm -hmm. I want to say that. That's, that's his redemption part. In a way, if you think about it. Oh yeah, it kind of was. This movie does have redemption a little bit. It also has sadness, darkness, action, action pack. Wow, well, God. Damn. But in this one, I think you feel a little bit more for him. I in, feel... In a very... Yeah, I, I feel... Been... No, I mean, for me, I feel much more feeling towards him, much more than the other films I've encountered. But the, this one, I feel much more intense to Rambo's uh, feelings. And also give him more character in this film. It makes me feel like, I feel you, Rambo. I understand how you feel... I feel you so much. You went through a lot in different, different time periods. You went through a lot of pain and stress. And I got you. Because I know him. He has a lot of stress in entire, the entire film. One, two, and three, and four, and also five. Every time he ha gets happiness, he feels sad. And more sadder and sadder. But he gets happiness in the road in a way. But this one is much more darker. In terms of the action in this movie, just like with the fourth film, it is really, really bloody. Uh, I gotta take the action back. The wow. action in this movie is, is so brutal. I was just like, okay, 
I think you can tone it down a notch. It was an, it was an entertaining movie, but I felt like if they if they did cut it down a little bit and focus more about the searching through what he's going through, um, that's with what, the, what that's he's what dealing the, that's with. That's what the daughter said. The daughter said. He knows what he's going through and things that... I meant that, involving the... I meant involving the daughter figure. That's what she said in, when she was in the cavern. Yeah. That's what she was talking to, talking to him about. Like, I know how you feel. I know how you feel this. I know... And she. That's what she was trying to explain to him. Well, you, she wanted to go see the dad, but he was like, No, don't do that. Because people there don't change. They're just not good people. You know, they're not good people, and you shouldn't go over there at all. And then she does anyway. She gets herself kidnapped by cartel. Most, I would have been like if Rambo went with her. That, that definitely would definitely would have been a perfect protection. That probably would have been better. Definitely a perfect protection. But she protection. went by herself. She did say that after she found out what the dad said, she did want to go home. She did. But the, but the friend was like... No, you're upset, it's too late, so you'll go to the club, unwind, and then that's where the mistake comes in. That's one that's one the crazy cousin sold her out entirely. Steals her bracelet. There's this bracelet that she wears that the mom gave her before she died. And Rambo knows that she wouldn't give that bracelet Genuity. to anyone. I believe after she passed out, I think I think that she stole the bracelet from her afterwards, in my own opinion. I had a theory about that. Maybe the bracelet dropped on the floor Doubt and it. she was holding on to it. Doubt it. That's what Rambo said. Rambo said, no one gives it to anybody. She might have stolen it. And she might have... Uh, we don't really know, she might but... have, No, I mean, she might have turned her in. That's a possibility of why she, she probably bought her in to the uh, Club of the Presbyterians. Or... It might have been a mistake entirely. We don't know much about that. I do have to point out, however, that this film does paint people from Mexico in a negative light. It paints them as being involved in cartels that steal money, are violent, and are people who run prostitution rings. Because this aspect of the film is offensive, you may want to avoid this film entirely. Given the current climate in our country, it's especially important to be sensitive and respectful to Mexico and to other cultures. It's... Time to separate art from reality. It's essential to understand that this film is a work of fiction and is created only for entertainment purposes. We didn't even talk about the climax. But climax was cool. The Clim climax was really cool. Was really I cool. felt it. I the climax was amazing. Oh itself. my god, the climax. The climax was. It was a really. Epic. It was intense. I it mean, was like it was brutal. Um. I, I just, it was a really intense. I liked it. Like, I, just, I got it, that was pretty epic. It's all, it's almost like a cross between Home Alone and the fourth Rambo movie. Already. Do you know that some of the traps are similar to in the first movie, First Blood, where he was sending out traps in the woods? Yeah, probably, yeah. But he didn't kill them, he just set up traps for them? Like, yes. overall, Rambo Last Blood... I'd say it's like a cross between the third Rambo film, Rambo no. 3, and, well, it has elements of Rambo 3, and Rambo it has elements of, Probably you know, so. rescuing someone, and then there's the whole dark environment that is very dangerous, and, you know, you just don't want to be in that I'm gonna give si this... situation. My favorite Rambo film has to be the first one, First Blood. My second favorite would be the second one, Rambo, First Blood Part 2. I'd rank Last Blood right below the fourth one. Why right below? I give it an eight. Well, that's a good rating. The third one gets like a seven or a six. I don't remember. But um, the first one's high on my list. The second one, maybe like just a nine. The fourth one would be like an, like an 8.5. This one, I'd say it's more like a, like around an eight, which is fair. It's a fair... Decent film. Now, eight is not actually, great. No, not eight, great. Eight is actually a good rating between. It's actually close to nine. It's not great, but so, I no, think for to, what it is. The reason is, why I liked, I'm giving it nine, is this because the way they did the characterization with Rambo is perfect. One through five, characterization with Rambo is good. I felt, I felt more feelings for Rambo all the way to the fourth and also the fifth one. I felt how he felt. I felt his pain. Felt for everything. Mostly to me. I enjoyed it. I gave it a nine. It's characterization for 
It's really more Sylvester Stallone that carries the whole movie. If he wasn't in it, it would have been not good at all. To me, that's the reason why this movie gets a 9, because of that reason. Also, story is good. Action, pr- uh, brutalness, crazy, crazy, crazy things. I loved about this film. But it's nothing bad to me. I enjoyed it. Story-wise, it's good. And it's just overall, I just enjoyed this. this you, you liked it better than I did. Yeah. You you like it? I, but I I enjoyed it. My my rating was a little bit below you. It, it's not the best. It's, of them, it doesn't deserve but a ten, but it does deserve it, a nine. It will never deserve a ten. It, it deserves but at it, least but a, it, it, deserves, it deserves at least a seven or an eight. At least there are things about it that you know. I was but, really satis- but, satisfied in this movie a lot. But if it. you liked the other movies, you might like this one. You may not. It depends on you your probably taste. You probably don't people ask yourself. Did I just watch Rambo five? Overall, thanks for watching. Decent movie. Thanks for watching.